plucked your pizza. There it is, people. Look at this. Unbelievable. Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Kendomic food review just for you. I'm in the overcast city of Mississauga, Ontario, Canada at a Petrocan gas station slash truck stop and they have in their parking lot what I was told by a gentleman by the name of Mazula Sante. He told me this yesterday and I was so intrigued I had to come down here today and they have a pizza vending machine and apparently it makes a pizza in three minutes. They've got, I don't know, six to eight different kinds of pizza. And let's go in. He told me to try one specific one. His favorite he wants me to try is a pepperoni. I want the cheeseburger. So we're gonna do the pepperoni first and then we'll go back and do the cheeseburger and see which one's better. Are you guys ready? Let's go check out this craziness. So it looks like you can download an app and I guess you can order online and pay online. They've got all their social media there if you want to follow them. Apparently they have probably like 10 of these around Southern Ontario, Central Ontario. They got the hand sanitizer station there. You can pay with your visa. There's a touch and pay right there. But let's see if we can get this done. Uh, touch screen. Let's hope this uh, machine works with the uh, glove on. Touch here. And then we can do the honey and goat cheese, four cheese blend, pepperoni, vegetarian, cheeseburger, uh, back soon with the barbecue chicken. I guess they don't have that on. Oh, and they have a Hawaiian, but that's not in here right now. So let's do, I'm gonna do the uh, pepperoni. It tells you all the nutritional facts, tells you what's on it. And then you can cold pizza and take it home, or you can do hot pizza. Let's do the hot pizza. And it tells you how much it's costing. I guess I can add or take away. And then we have uh, confirm. One pepperoni, including tax, total, back, coupon, loyalty, continue. So $13.56 Canadian. It wants me to tap my card. So I tapped my card, it showed me that it worked. And it says your order has been confirmed, your pizza is on its way. So right now the machine is making it. It's got a little video. Always fresh. It's hard to see with the lighting in here, I apologize. Made with all natural ingredients. Oh, check that out, you can see in there. Oh, you can't see in there. Your pepperoni is on its way. It's baking. Always launching new varieties. Oh, that one looks good. Cheeseburger. That's what we're going to do next. We're going to do two today, people. Going to do two. Can you smell it? Yes, I can, people. Oh, it's got a progress bar here. Look at this. It is moving very slowly, showing us the baking time. And I can't smell it, guys. Like this, the scent of that pizza is just coming out. Look in the slot. You can't see anything. Is this the slot? You can't see in the slot. Progress bar is getting closer. Very cool. Oh, look, there's the box. Nice. Collect your pizza. There it is, people. Look at this. Unbelievable. We are taking a pizza out of a vending machine. It says, goodbye, enjoy. Your pizza is ready. There she is. Let's take it to the car and eat it. All right, people, we are back in the car. Let's take out our glove. All right, guys, before we begin, let's get out the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? Apparently, you guys have been saying in the comments, open the box, then sterilize your hands with the hand sanitizer. Let's open it up. Oh. Oh, that smells so good. There was a lady walking her dog, one of the truckers, and uh, she's like, is that any good? Have you tried it? And I said, this is my first time. So you'll have to wait until I bunch into it to let you know if it's any good. It looks fantastic. 
And uh, as I was walking back to my car, she could smell the aroma of that pizza. We're gonna try and figure out how to open this box. All right, let's use the hand sanitizer. Get that all ready to go. We got our napkins ready. Wash your hands over here or over here. I'll try, let's go in for a close up. All right guys, going in for the extreme close up of this artisan style pepperoni pizza. You can see a nice little char on the outside. You can see that beautiful cheese, those lovely circles of pepperoni waiting to be devoured. It smells fantastic. Oh my goodness. All right, let's break a piece off and start eating. All right, I gotta rip the top off. The top is in the way. All right, it's not cut. There's the bottom, nicely baked. The only thing I can think you could do with this is to fold it in half and take a bite. Let's just pick it up. <laughs> Let's just pick up the whole pizza like a pig and start eating. Check out this one piece I'm trying to get away. Not bad. Let's take a bite. No, it's the first time I had to eat the crust of a pizza first. It's crunchy on the outside. Super thin crust. It probably helps uh, with the baking process. The pepperoni is nice and spicy and savory. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Looks like it's lacking a bit of cheese there. Lots of cheese here. None there, maybe. Hmm. At the moment, if all the pizza stores are closed, or there's no pizza store around, and you just happen to be driving by a gas station like this or wherever the other ones are, grabbing a pizza for 13 bucks, and again, I'd share this with somebody, it's pretty big. Mmm. Some of the uh, pepperoni is nice and crispy on the outside. Almost tastes like bacon. Mmm. -hmm. I want to get more into this. I think I picked the wrong side to start eating. It tastes like somebody baked it right for me right now. In like a stone oven. Wow. Mr. Sante, thank you very much for mentioning this. Let me know. I had no idea this existed in Canada. We don't get a lot of hot foods, vending machines here in Canada. This is the first one I've ever heard of. Hmm. And now we're getting into some cheesy spots. Again, the first part wasn't very cheesy. I'm not 100% sure if the pizzas are 100% already made, or does it actually go through the process of being made right? Again, I couldn't barely see the screen. Hope you guys could see the screen. Mmm. That was a nice cheesy spot right there. You guys can see it, right? It's cheese from here over, and it doesn't look like there's any cheese here. They got the sauce on everywhere, but the cheese didn't go everywhere. So I would normally, because it's not cut, just fold it into one big panzerotti or calzone or whatever. Whatever mozzarella they use is very nice. And the fact that it's nice and crunchy from the broiling process, it's giving a cheese nice flavor. I'm enjoying this a lot. Mm hmm When you get the right combination of crust, cheese, pepperoni, it's nice. Let's try one bite, but after folding it, oh yeah, look at that. Nice, big, folded pizza. Oh yeah. That's the way to eat this one because it's not cut. 
Mmm, that is phenomenal. It looks like maybe they use a little bit of cornmeal to help uh, not, not stick to anything. That is really good, man. Really, really good. If you're in the mood for a pizza, and there's a pizza vending machine near you, pick up a pizza, man. One more bite, and then we'll grab another one. All right, let's go get another one. Going back for number two. We're pros at this now. Touch screen, cheeseburger, hot, continue, pay. We're good to go. Your cheeseburger is on its way. Again, the progress bar is starting. Always fresh once again. Your cheeseburger is on its way. It's baking. Just looked up a little bit and realized that there is a knife right there that you can cut. And check this out, it is compostable cutlery made from plants, even the wrapper. That is fantastic. Oh, this one smells really good. Wow. Come on. Come on. Oh, I hear it. I hear it coming. There it is. It's waiting a second. Please collect your pizza. All right, people. Let's do it. We got a knife this time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the car. Let's take off our glove. Get out our trusty steering wheel tray once again and start eating this cheeseburger pizza. All right, so let's, uh, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. I'm gonna do that. That, that, put that over here. <laughs> That's how you do it. Get a little hand sanitizer going once again. Over here maybe. No slow-mo this time. All right, guys, let's go in for an extreme close-up of this cheeseburger pizza. One of the first things I noticed was there's green stuff on here, and it looks like possibly relish. And then we got chunks of beef, lots of cheddar. Looks like we got some mozzarella, lots of onions. It smells sweet. I'm not sure if they would put barbecue sauce on there. It definitely smells different from the last one. I guess the only way we're going to be able to tell is zooming out, picking it up, and eating it. All right, let's try our compostable knife on this pizza. Let's see if we can cut out a wedge this time. Not the easiest thing to do. Oh, it's easier than I thought. Let's turn the pizza. Let's cut out a nice, beautiful slice. That's so cool that I, I looked around a little bit harder didn't say anything on the website. Oh boy, about the, the knife or if it was cut or not. Check that out, guys. Scratch it, sniff it, the rest is mine. The only thing I'm not sure about is that relish. It almost looks like there's mustard on there too. What do you think? Guess we'll find out. Cheers. That is the strangest cheeseburger pizza I think I've ever had. It's sweet, savory, very strange, really, very, really different. Totally bizarre, man. Really bizarre. Once again, as you can see here, the cheese wasn't properly displaced throughout the whole pizza, but it's a machine, so it's doing what it's doing. The sauce is nice. It's funny how it's all dry on there. Nice, crusty, crunchy crust. Let's go in for a cheesier spot. The knife does a good job, wow. All right guys, there's my next piece. 
I grabbed a slice with a little more cheddar and mozzarella on it. I don't mind the combination, but it looks like in some parts it's like really heavy on the cheddar and I'm not a huge cheddar on pizza type guy. When it's mixed together, it's not bad, but when you get more cheddar than mozzarella, it kind of changes the pizza a little bit too much in the wrong way for me anyway. Again, that really bizarre, sweet pizza. <laughs> the onion flavors are coming through. They're like sauteed onions. I'm enjoying the onions, the beef, the cheese, but not the condiments. <laughs> they added to this. The pepperoni one was way better. All right, guys, we are all done in Mississauga at the Petrocan gas station for our very first pizza vending machine review just for you. I'm going to have to give Pizza Forno's pepperoni pizza a go out and get it now. If you're in the area and you're practicing your social distancing, grab one of those pizzas, get it while it's hot, or you can take it home cold, throw it in your own oven, heat it up there. Unfortunately, I did not like the cheeseburger pizza. That would be an indifferent for me. If you've tried it and you like it, let people know why you liked it. I just couldn't stand the, the sweetness and having relish on my pizza. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video and you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. But if you're hungry for more, check out this awesome playlist and we'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.